Hello and welcome to a new weekly vlog. We are just, uh, we're, we're just back from London, literally. Uh, we arrived back last night. So this vlog is kicking off from where the last one uh, left. And we are now going to Morrison's to get a few bits and bobs. So we're still doing the Hello Fresh, uh, but there are a few little bits and pieces that we need, like just random things. Um, so we need to go and get those, including things like deodorant. So it's that kind of a shop. So we're gonna to pop to Morrison's, get some bits and pieces, come back, and then I've got some lots of laundry to catch up on, and I need to do a little bit of work. When I said I got lots of laundry to do, this is kind of what I meant. So we've got one load in already, and I can't dry outside either because it's all wet. And I also need to collapse the HelloFresh box too. Lots to get through today. Hi everybody, Matt's got a tale to tell. Trauma. Do you want to tell your trauma? Well, I went to the gym in the rain and after the gym, I then had to lug two 10 kilogram bags of cat litter back to the car. You did. Which was hard after the gym. And I came back and I had a shower and I went to put some deodorant on and I didn't realise until it was too late that I hairsprayed my armpit. He used hairspray instead oh! of deodorant. Oh That's my goodness! Sticky! Do you have to wash it again? Yeah! Uh, is it still sticky? Yeah. Oh, that's gross. That'll teach you to look at the bunch bottle you're spraying. I didn't have my glasses. It's a good job it wasn't anything... I don't know, good job it wasn't anything else. I didn't have my glasses on. Right. Today, it is oh, wet, wet, wet. Let's move on from my trauma then. Yeah. <laughs> no, no words of support. <laughs> Just anyway. <laughs> anyway, look anyway. at look at this water. It's wet. My Not goodness. Like my no, and um, and the poor neighbour. Part of her house has flooded. We haven't. I mean, it's not that bad for us for us here, but because she's on a slightly lower level, um, it's actually flooded up to her skirting boards. Uh, so she's actually got a removal van now to take some. She's eighty one. Um, so that's not good. So I feel really sorry for her. But it literally hasn't stopped raining like this since London, basically. Um, so it's not good. The cats aren't very happy. They want to go out. Um, but anyway, this is what it is today. Well, we've given in to temptation and we've finally put the heating on. Ooh. It's freezing. It is cold. And it's still raining. It's a chill in the air. Yeah, so we're going to have it on for a few hours yeah. and then we'll turn it off. And then we're doing our Hello Fresh dinner tonight. We are. It'll be a good day today. It's going to be very good. Today we are having the creamy mustard chicken and mushrooms. So this is how some of the stuff comes. The mushrooms and uh, the meat. It's all there. So let's let's see how this one goes. So it unfolds. <laughs> and here we have tonight's dinner. So the veg we did add ourselves. But yummy, it smells gorgeous. Hi everybody and welcome to Saturday. We're having ghoulish chicken goujons. Matt has just prepared the goujons. Were they easy to chop? They're all right. Not too bad. Slimy. And I've, my contribution is grating the cheese. But I have done a lot today. I have filmed and almost uploaded two Royal Reviewer videos and I've changed the cat trays. And yes, so I have been busy. Ooh, is there a pee? And I've vacuumed as well. I know, and now there's pee. And now there's a pee down. Yeah. <laughs> there is a pee. Uh, so today has been wet again. Uh, my mom and my parents came up. Uh, but yeah, it's been very wet. And we haven't really done much, which, which is why I'm filming now at half past six in the evening. Um, but it's been quite a relaxing day apart from... I don't know. I, I don't know how, do, do I feel relaxed? No, I think I've done a lot of work today. But tomorrow's going to be relaxing because we are going to Welshpool. We're going to have a Sunday lunch out in celebration of Matt's granddad's 80th yeah. birthday. Well, they are sizzling. Might need the tongs for this. Ooh, yummy, yummy. And there's still some more to go in. Anyway, here's our dinner. So the only thing we've added extra are the garden peas. So basically that's kind of it. There we go, yum yum. Hi everyone, it is Sunday and we are fueling up at the Asda petrol station. We are on our way to Matt's parents and then we're gonna go to Sunday lunch. So I'll get to show you a really nice meal. We're really looking forward to it. Just seeing, we're in Marks and Spencers and there's a Dawn French Christmas decoration. Actually, shall I ring Mum and tell them? Yeah. Yeah. They've got a 
Got to get it quick. Right. Oh, we've just eaten and we're absolutely full. But the weather has been raining, not raining, sunny, misty. So I've just spotted the chance to come out and show you the golf course where we're having Sunday lunch. And it's really beautiful. It's called Lakeside near Welshpool. And you've got a nice little... What river is that? Seven. That is the Seven. That's the River Seven coming through. I didn't know if it was anything different, but just look, isn't it a beautiful scene? I'm hoping the camera's picking it up, but it is really gorgeous here. Hi everybody and welcome to Monday. We are all bright eyed and bushy tailed. I was up early today. I have recorded two videos <laughs> Royal Reviewer and the Hello Fresh box has just come. So, what do we have? Where's our meal planners? Can you remember what we had? <laughs> Not as much chicken. Yay! So we have sea bass and a tarragon sauce with smashed potatoes and green beans. Oh, that looks nice. We have, oh, we've got two of them. I don't, maybe that's just a duplicate. Well, we'll see. Okay. Then so we've we have got a cheddar cheese burger, wedges and roasted garlic slaw. Okay. Uh, we have herb garden breaded chicken. With oh, cheesy nice. mash and garlicky beans. Pasta! Creamy Cajun prawn pasta. That sounds nice. And Thai green style chicken curry. Yay, there we go. So not as much chicken. No, <laughs> two chicken this time. But yes, no, that is looking rather good. Yeah, they've sent us two copies of a recipe card. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. I've also done some bed washing, so I'm trying to dry the sheets without using the tumble dryer. So I've got the, the duvet over there and I've got the sheets there. And it's just really, really cold. But we've got the door open because the cats have been in, in and out like goodness knows what. Molly's on the bed asleep, even though I've stripped it. Uh, but yeah, it's just really, really, really cold out here today. Not very nice. Matt is cooking chicken tikka masala from the Hello Fresh. I am. It smells lovely. Yeah. Just actually, chicken tikka masala is what I always order from the the authentic Indian restaurants. Um, and it does actually smell really good. So I think the trick is you have to put the, what is it, the creme, creme fraiche, fraiche to make it creamy. Yeah, that's the last thing to go in. Yeah, but it does look and smell really gorgeous. So the Bombay sort of potatoes are what Matt's made and we did buy some extras. I'll, I'll just pop round here and show you what we bought. So we did go to Morrison's Stay and get 18 mini Indian style snack selection. Vegetable samosas. I know people are going to say that should feed a family of four, but <laughs> I don't care. Pakoras <laughs> um, and onion bhajis. And don't mm. they look gorgeous? Here's the curry going on. It does smell delicious. Yum, yum. Hello and welcome to Tuesday. And lo and behold, we have some sun. It didn't start off like this. It started off not very nice at all. But we finally have some sun. In fact, it would have been a really good day to have tried the bed sheets yesterday. But anyway, I've done them. So we've got all, well, we've got Molly and Bo outside. Rory's in his little dome. Uh, and I am contemplating, I've, I've been doing some work. I've been doing lots of uh, mundane admin type tasks that needed doing, that I'd been putting off for a while. And I wanted to get them off my off my shoulders, the weight off my shoulders. So I'm in the process of doing that. I've had a few technical difficulties <laughs> with regards to emails. Uh, myself and emails don't really get on very well. But anyway, there's a few outside jobs that I would like to do whilst the weather's still good. For example, taking down the tomatoes. Um, although they are, they are still going red, to be quite honest, or turning red. Uh, I should say. So, but they do need all taken down. And I really want to clear the front bed and get some bulbs and things in. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping to do in the next couple of hours. Yay, I've got all of my tasks that I can possibly do done today. So I am so happy. I'm now dressed in my gardening clothes and I am going to go in the garden and finally tackle some things that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Okay, so first job, there are lots of little seeds that have started to grow out of the gravel. Um, and although they probably would turn into something nice, I don't really want them there. Then I need to tackle all of this. And if I just zoom out, 
so you can see. I need to get all of that clear um, because I want to put some new things in and some of them are weeds, some aren't. I'll leave some bulbs in. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've partially cleared away, but now I need to get the fork out and give it a good old forking over. Hi everybody and welcome. Welcome, welcome to Wednesday. Matt's practicing the flute because he's giving someone a lesson today, a child. <laughs> so I, I, I can't vlog that. Uh, but Matt is preparing to teach the flute. Isn't that amazing? It's been a work day. I've been working. I've got loads of videos edited and filmed. So, and then... What are we doing tomorrow? More work. More work. More work. And then Saturday we're going, we're doing something very exciting. Yes. But can we also talk about how much work you've done over the last few Lots. years? Lots! And why you've been able to do so much. Because the days got longer. Because I've encouraged him to start a routine. And now he gets up for before nine o'clock in the morning and not 11. Excuse me! <laughs> I think you'll find it's my first answer. The days got longer. Dinner is almost served, but um, we've actually doubled up today because we had a KFC yesterday. We didn't vlog that. So we've actually kind of combined two meals into one. So we've got quite a lot today. It's harissa chicken. It is harissa chicken, but we just doubled up on the chicken and we've added some broccoli, which would have been another meal. Yeah, so, so it's not too bad. No. Otherwise, we would have been behind. So um, anyway, how did your flute lesson go? Oh, it was good. We got some noise. It did go really well, because she's only how old? Six. She's, she's six. So we were worried that the um, flute might be too big, and it was a little bit too big. Yeah. But she managed to do it. She was really enthusiastic, and she did really, really well. So, well done. Um, giving you lessons next. No, I haven't got the patience. I just literally don't have the patience. So while Matt is serving up, Bo is down here on the chair. There he is. Here we go. Here is dinner being served up. Looks yummy. Right, we are at Morrison's. We need to get some very important shopping bits because I'm doing some baking over the next few days. I'm going to be making a cake and some of my famous sausage rolls. Right, we're back home and look at this array. Matt's also opening our order from Pets at Home of the cat food. It's just calm. They sent both. Have they sent both this time? Because last time they only sent one. Um, so just run you through what we've got. Now, do you remember the cake instant? Because I didn't have a wire rack. Well, got one now. Um, so there's some ingredients for things to bake in. The uh, puff pastry sheet. I don't know if I'm going to need one or two, so I got two. There's some sausage meat, some ground almonds, sage and onion stuffing, some lardons, cocoa powder, eggs, onions, white chocolate, Matt's mousses. Uh, sausage rolls, Maureen's apple turnovers, red sauce, brown sauce, and uh, Matt's chocolate brownie bars. So there we go, that's kind of everything that we bought today. Yeah. Hi everybody, and welcome to what can essentially be called my second home, the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what do I hear from there? <laughs> Matt's laughing. He's saying, he's not agreeing with what I'm saying. <laughs> My second home, the kitchen. So, what are we doing in my second home, the kitchen? We are making, and we're going to get around like a wand, we are making some sausage rolls today to my own special, unique recipe. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the ingredients, but I'm making the sausage roll mixture a day ahead of when I'm going to actually bake it in the pastry because I like the fl all my flavours to infuse and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, so I'll run you down with the um, ingredients. So, we are gonna be adding some sage and onion stuffing mix. Doesn't have to be the expensive stuff, that stuff will do. 
There is going to be some bacon lardons. Now I learned the hard way from trial and error. Don't add any extra salt because these provide enough salt. There will be um, a spoon or two of English mustard. There'll be some black pepper and actually, no, I think I might, black or white? I'm, mm, I might change that to white pepper actually. Um, and my secret ingredient is a few chili flakes to give it a bit of a kick. Also, I will be caramelizing an onion. So there we go. And that will form the mix for my sausage rolls. There we go. So they don't have to be finely chopped, just kind of roughly chopped. Rustic is what we're, the outcome that we're looking for. All right, so I'm just melting a little bit of butter in my frying pan. And then I shall add the onions. Okay, so next at this stage, I add some brown sugar, which will caramelize the onions. You can see now how the onions are changing colour and going caramelised. So a little bit longer and then they'll be ready. Okay, so I think they are done. Right, now it's time to add all the extras. So in go the bacon lardons. They'll all get mixed around properly in a moment. And I'm just about to add mustard. Right, your next job is to manhandle your meat. Now, be assertive with it, ladies. Take your meat strongly in one hand and squeeze it out, like so. Demonstrate your skills all the way. Next step is to kind of mush it all in. Um, remember, it will get cooked in the oven tomorrow, so. Give it a good mix in. Right, I'm now going to add the Savers Sage and Onion Stuffing Mix, uh, but I need to make it up first. So it's just literally a packet and you just kind of pour it in and add 200 millilitres of boiling water and mix. Okay, okay next time to add the water. So literally, I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. I think a metal spoon is probably the best. Combine that in, add the rest, a little bit more, and then it has to kind of sit for about five minutes um, until that's all nice. I love stuffing. There we go. Okay, so now that the stuffing mix is all set, it's time to combine it with the rest and then pop it in the fridge and leave it overnight so that it all marinates and all the flavors gel. Like I say, I found that that is the best way of doing it. And there we have it safely in the fridge. And here's our HelloFresh dinner today. It's the creamy prawn pasta. Cajun prawn. Cajun pasta. prawn pasta. And we've got Mr. Rory looking very expectantly too. No, they're not cat biscuits. Oh. Welcome to Friday. It doesn't feel like a Friday. I've got Rory over there. The house is a bit of a disarray at the moment because we've my parents have just been and they brought a gift. Not from them, from someone else. Uh, it was actually a housewarming gift that we've just got now. So thank you so, so much. You know who you are. Thank you. It's gorgeous. It's a Senses fragrance diffuser, but look at the size of it. Like, there's my hand. It's huge. It's ginormous. Look at the size of those diffuser reeds. It's a massive, and it smells gorgeous. It smells a bit rosy. 
So I think what I'm going to do once I've tidied up is put it over there on the table and then move the Christmas candle over onto the island and then put the orchid somewhere else. So yes, that's what I'm going to be doing in the moment and also doing all the recycling and tidying up. Okay, so it's now time to make the cake. So it's going to be a chocolate cake. I've got my recipe over there. So my ingredients are running you down what I've got. Milk chocolate chips, some baking powder, some ground almonds, cocoa powder, caster sugar and self-raising flour. I'm going to weigh everything out um, and then put it in this loaf tin with a, a loaf liner. I almost forgot I need eggs and butter as well. <laughs> Okay, so the first step is to mix 175 grams of softened butter, which I've cut up so that it all mixes together really well, with 175 grams of caster sugar, which I need to weigh out. Uh, it did say golden caster sugar, but we couldn't find any, so we're just using regular. Okay, so the recipe says beat it in with an electric whisk, which I'm gonna use this, um, my mixer, until it's light and fluffy, and then you add the eggs. So let's just get it, I'll start off slow. And then we'll see how that goes. Okay, so there we have it all mixed light and fluffy. 140 grams of self-raising flour, three eggs whisked up. Now I need to add, I'm gonna sieve the flour into there, add the egg, add the cocoa, add the ground al almonds, and add the baking powder. And then probably the chocolate chips as well. Okay, so that's four tablespoons of cocoa powder going in. Okay, 85 grams of ground almonds. Right, so now it's time to add all the little things. So it's 100 mils of milk, which I'm going to add gradually, along with the three eggs, and then I'm going to add the chocolate chips as it's whizzing around as well. go. So now I need to bake it for 40 to 45 minutes or until golden brown. Don't know how I'm going to tell when it's chocolate. There we go. So I got the times wrong. It's in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes. So I'm going to put it on 40 and then I'll check it when it gets to then. So I just cut the pastry into even strips and then distributed the mix that I made yesterday onto uh, both of them. So let's wrap them up and make them into sausage rolls. Here are my sausage rolls, scored and glazed. Now there is another tray uh, because I made a little bit extra. So there's gonna go, I've, this is an old tray, so I've just laid out some, some baking sheets on there just in case. Fresh out of the oven, they're done, all baked. So I'm gonna now transfer them with the tongs onto the cooling rack. Yes, we bought a cooling rack. And good morning, it is 10.24 and we are almost at our destination. We're going to Stoke Brune, I think that's how you say it, near Northampton and Toaster, to meet some new friends. Ah, oh, we're so excited. And uh, we're gonna have a lovely day on their narrow boat. So they're gonna pick us up at the car park, take us back to their boat, and then we're gonna go, I think under the, uh, well, through the second largest tunnel in the United Kingdom. And there's lots of little bridges and winding roads. Oh, like there we go, it's very narrow. It's a very gorgeous little place. So let's park up and see how the day unfolds. Right, we've made it. Look at this beautiful marina. It's gorgeous. And look who we're with. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's Lisa and Glenn from A Life Full of Meaning. Come on. Come on. <laughs> we're going, look at this. The chair's not, it's a bit... We're on the move. <laughs> we're on the move. Look. Wow. Tight, this is. It is, but we have we have faith in Glenn's yeah. driving skills. He's very Glenn's good. Right. Glenn's all right. <laughs> We're just going under a bridge. <laughs> we are. Okay. That's it. My narrowboat filming skills aren't particularly yeah. wonderful, but there we go. really thankful it's not raining we have been praying for good weather and it's a cloudy day but at least it's not raining we're at a well this is the blizzworth tunnel canal eight 
there we go. Uh, and <laughs> apparently it takes how long? 50 minutes About to get through? 45, 45 Ooh. minutes. Oh, oh, there, was, oh. there was a clatter. It's not the cafetiere, is it? Uh, what was that? Oh no, there's a big clatter. Oh, I see clatter. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> and just going into this uh, tunnel. This is the old part of the tunnel. Wow. And two boats can fit down here. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> there we go. We're in Blissworth Tunnel. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> close to the side. Lisa's being the eyes. Yeah, we could, we, you could get a little bit more over there. Uh, Glenn's driving um, skills are very yeah, impressive, I have to say. Um, so a boat's about to pass, I think. Or oh, it's coming up, you can just about see the light. Um, and the light at the end of the tunnel is almost here. It is, we're just saying it's a little bit like being Reborn. We're going to come out all shiny and new, like Madonna. It is. Look at that. Wow. It is. It feels really weird coming out from the dark. Of course, we've been in here for about over 40 minutes. And there's been drips and all kinds of things. And then suddenly, you see all the trees and the green. It doesn't feel like you're emerging into October, <laughs> nearly November. It almost, after all this darkness, it almost feels like you could into the spring or something. Uh, but I was saying in an earlier vlog, the trees have still kept their leaves quite late. There we go, Glenn's just said that's a trip boat just coming up. Wow, there we are, emerged. Wow. We have, I think the right terminology is moored we up. Moored We've up. moored up. And um, yes, well, we are mooring up currently. So we are going to get, we're at Stoke, Bru Stoke Brune again. I hope I said that correctly. And we're going to go and uh, maybe find a pub and just have a bit of a chat and a talk. Yeah, we love a pub. We love the food and the drinks in the pub. Ooh. That was a bit close on. <laughs> I zoomed out then in the end. <laughs> But no, it's, uh, it's turned out to be a beautiful day because we were worried about the weather, yeah. about it being rainy, but actually, it's, sides, yeah. Course. And we're just saying that's a beautiful house over there. Uh, wish we could afford one of those. <laughs> but no, it's turned out to be a fantastic, beautiful day. <laughs> so we are going to the pub. <laughs> we might have some we cheesy, are. Chips. cheesy chips. Cheesy chips, yeah. It's going to be good. <laughs> and we're going to have a good chat and enjoy the nice weather because we might not get this nice weather again. Come here, this is good lighting. Hello. Maybe for a thumbnail. <laughs> My hair's a mess though. That is good lighting. Can I get <laughs> <Yeah>. in too? <laughs> so here we have a boat approaching a lock. Now, <laughs> we don't want to put them under pressure to get it all right. They're, they're um, these, um, but yeah, look at it. They leak, they leak a lot of the gates. Yeah, Lisa just pointed out how leaky those locks are. It shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> it should be holding the water in. <laughs> it's a beautiful village. We say it's a village. It's a yeah, yeah, village. So it's a village. And there's some yeah. gorgeous little houses as well. Yeah. Not just the big massive ones. There's some yeah. nice little dinky ones too. Just going into the boat in. It's very cute and thatch. And this is where apparently the cheesy chips live. So we've got one normal chips and we've got a blue cheese chip. Oh, and there's onion rings as well. Yeah, and normal cheesy chips. There's a, there's a, whole, there's a, whole, there's a whole plethora of carbs. Look at it. What do they say? What do they say? No carbs before marbs. Well, it's a good job we're not going to marbs, isn't it? Because of all these carbs. There we go. And we are done for the day. We've had a fantastic day, haven't we? It's been lovely. It's been lovely. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll oh, get to meet again. It has been so lovely. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much You're for more coming. Than welcome. So you're welcome at any time. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. much. It's, been, it's been lovely. It really has been amazing. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. Ah, oh, we had a really busy but lovely day yesterday. It was so lovely to see and meet Lisa and Glenn and have a ride on the boat, a cruise on the boat. I'm going to say a cruise on the boat. 
Um, it was really, really lovely. So, but Lisa had some issues with the computer yesterday and I just saw that she's put out a post and she wasn't able to fix it. So unfortunately she lost a bit of footage. I say lost. I'm hoping that she'll be able to recover it and then there'll be a chance to have uh, for her to post that missing weekly vlog because she had an amazing time where she saw Queen Camilla in London and did lots of really amazing things that week. So I really, my heart goes out to her because I've had that before um, where I've literally lost, I, I, one year I lost a whole Christmas vlog. So I know how that feels. And I was not able to recover it because it was my phone that died and it was all on my phone. So yeah, uh, I my heart goes out, really, really does. But in the grand scheme of things, it is just a vlog. I know. Um, so today, what am I doing? The weather is still nice. I was I was hoping it was going to be nice weather because I want to come outside and finish off all the winter garden jobs that I need doing. So planting the bulbs in the front garden, I cleared earlier finally taking down all of the tomatoes and picking the last of the harvest and getting the greenhouse ready for over winter but i also want to plan some video content for the next week because I'm, what i'm trying to do is film two videos a day for royal reviewer so that i've always got one that i can post if i need to be doing other things there you go i'm trying to keep you know some videos ahead anyway this is the garden this morning. I've had a nice lie-in and now I'm going to drink my coffee and get ready. Oh, we it's still Sunday and we've yeah. just had a surprise delivery. I yes, thought it's... it wasn't coming till tomorrow, but it turns out it's coming today. <laughs> it's our HelloFresh box. Yeah, we're still doing it. This is probably our third box third since box, starting no. the HelloFresh. And we're doing very well because it's, it's nice having something different every day. Yeah. The tastes are really, really nice. The portion control is really good. Yes. It means we haven't got to spend lots of money in the shops when we go. Yeah. And we just sort of pimp it a little bit. And it's yeah. just saving us a lot of money and it effort is. and time. And it's nice having something there all the time. So what yeah. did you order this week? Oh, that should we see? Because I can't even yeah, remember. Yeah, we, we, we never remember. My goodness. Okay. What we got? Oh, so we have... Ooh. <laughs> chorizo crusted baked penne okay with cheese and garlicky stem tender stem broccoli that sounds yummy honey and lime glazed halloumi burger okay. with peri peri wedges and avocado the last pasta. burger we had was nice it was nice and this is a halloumi burger Ooh, there's yummy. a vegetarian option okay. oh, i haven't told you this i'm including one veggie option every week to be more eco-friendly oh are you yeah Okay, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, lemon and herb chicken. We've had that one before and that was nice, yeah. I think I remember. Uh, oh, chicken tikka masala again. Oh, yeah, that was that nice was really last nice. time. And curry chicken thigh tray bake. Okay, yum yum. I've ordered a lot of chicken Yum yum, again. you have. Four out of five chickens. You again. have, you have. You need to start okay. ordering something different other than yeah. chicken. <laughs> oh well, we, we, we like chicken. We like chicken. It's fine. Hi everybody, Hi. it's time to end this week's vlog. It's been an eclectic, well it's it's been, I think I'm going to call this video <laughs> Baking Birthday and Boating. Baking Birthday and Boating. Because that's kind of what we've done. So, yeah. did you enjoy this week? Whose birthday was it? Your granddad's. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we, we went for Sunday lunch for your granddad's 80th was, birthday. Well, it wasn't his actual birthday. His birthday was a couple no. of weeks ago, so <laughs> that's why I'm confused. Anyway, we enjoyed this week. We did, did you enjoy this week? Yes, it's been a very nice week. Um, I really enjoyed going on the boat. You too. did enjoy your cruising. I did. It was really lovely. And it was nice to meet and see Lisa and Glenn. Oh, Matt yeah. has to always stoop when we do these I videos. I do. Because he's very tall. It's a long anyway, spot. I didn't manage to get the greenhouse or garden done. I went for a nap you instead. You did. I didn't even realise. I was very tired. Anyway, I've still got to do the cat trays because they need changing. So we're going to go. Thank you for watching this week's video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. <laughs> what was that? And of course, I've really lost my train at all. <laughs> Subscribe, <laughs> like, share, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye! Bye!